does my hair look okay? I feel like that's everyone's problem. So, the reason why you clicked on this video is you want to know my fitness journey. And you want to hope that you can also have your own transformation story by learning from me. Put my hair up. Let's get right into this. All right. It all changed for me in the year of 2014. I made the decision to change universities. I was going to Guelph University at the time, so I was there for two years. And let me tell you, I had a lot of drinking, I was going to keggers every weekend, going out for dollar beer on Monday, tequila Tuesday, Thursday was a night everyone had to go out, Friday was the other night, Saturday you gotta go out, Sunday karaoke night, you get the memo. So every day it was another party. We had marathon Mondays where we would be drinking all morning, all afternoon, and all evening. I also came from a very strict background when I was growing up where we couldn't watch any movies that had kissing in it. We couldn't read magazines because it might have kissing or profanity or something that I should be looking at. We couldn't put on makeup. Yeah, it was movies, makeup magazines i think there's another one and then i wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend until i was 16. It, my parents were christian but they had a very religious mindset so there's a lot of things we weren't allowed to do we still tried to get around that but i was very strict so when i got out of high school and finally got into university i was it was like this eye-opening experience for me and i was introduced to all these different things and i kind of just went ham i just went crazy and i unfortunately had to leave university leave that university because i had failed so many classes and that's kind of embarrassing to say but just want to be truthful and honest with y'all. However, I was able to transfer. I left Guelph and had immediately transferred to Ryerson. I just wanted to go to university where I, had, I didn't know anyone. I had no prior connections there. I didn't want to live on residence because I didn't want another residence experience because I clearly already, already had that. So I transferred to Ryerson University for marketing. Thank God I passed in four years. I passed, I finished, I completed it, and I have a degree in marketing management and a minor in organizational leadership. Now, I don't really want to do anything with that degree, but it was still a great experience. I'm glad I got the degree. Don't think it's necessary, but I'll leave that to another video. So anyways, in 2014, I had just, I gained 30 pounds, freshman, 30 instead of the freshman 15. I was very down on myself. I had reached, I think, just over 200 pounds. And I think that was a moment that I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck am I doing with my life? I don't know if you have a similar experience, but when it's day after day where you're constantly you know, upset over your body, I literally just put my hands up in the air and I just surrendered everything. I'm like, I just got to get out of here. In 2014, I, you know, started going to different classes that they had at my condo. I started, you know, doing yoga once or twice a week. I started going to the classes, the group classes, started doing like 20 minute fixes when I was here in Barrie, which is basically like 20 minutes of strength training on the machines. I just did whatever. I wasn't confident at all. Like I would never go into a gym and know exactly what to do. I wasn't at that point in my life and I wanted to get there. I wanted to have the confidence to be able to go into the gym and not care what anyone looked at me. And I wanted that for myself. At the end of 2014, that is when I got a coach because I had no idea what to do. And my sister actually started getting into fitness and started doing bikini competitions and that really motivated me. I was like, wow, like if she can do it, I can do it. I ended up getting a coach and I, I wasn't really sold on the whole competition idea, but I just wanted to just try getting a coach and see where she can push me and see where I can push myself. I paid a lot of money, got myself a coach, and at the time I was I was in so much debt from Guelph and from the university and staying in Toronto is so expensive. I was already in a ton of debt, but I knew, I knew if I got her program that I would 
be so much better off and I'd be so much more confident in who I was. I was like, you know what, let's do it. I got her as a coach. It was amazing. Like she showed me so much. She showed me, you know, what to do at the gym, how to work out. She showed me form. She showed me how to warm up properly, what to do for cardio, how to eat. I had no idea still how to eat. Like I would be making protein pancakes. Meanwhile, they'd have six or 700 calories in it. And having pancakes for six or 700 calories is fine, but adding coconut flour and chia seeds and hemp hearts, like all these things can add up so quickly. And with my body type, I think it's called an ectomorph, I believe, but it's one that you are not naturally skinny and I'm not naturally athletic. I'm more like curvy and I hold my body fat and my belly button thighs. So that is my body type. And I'll put in the description below what you can find out what your body type is. But anyways, so I got a coach and she showed me everything. And then at the end of 2015, I decided to do a competition. And I had already been very involved with fitness, doing everything perfectly. And I was just like, can you know what? Let's just do this. Let's do this thing. I want to see how far I can push myself. And I was extremely motivated. I did all my own coaching, prepping, nutrition, training programs, everything. And I thought I could do it. I ended up getting very, very low body fat percentage. I thought I was gonna win. I was like, I got this, I'm gonna win. I'm going to, you know how competitive we get, right? And I didn't win. And I was devastated. I was so upset. I remember getting off that stage, I was crying and tearing. I was in the bathroom bawling myself. I was like, I don't know what to do. I, like, I, I literally thought I was gonna win and I ended up getting second last call -ups. So I think in my, in my class there were like almost 30 girls and I think I got around, I don't know, maybe like 15th or something like that. I know I was first in my call out, but I was, very last on the whole compared to all the girls and you know now i realize that's fine you know i probably should have had a coach just for a show where a lot of those girls had been prepping and for years it was like their fifth show or their 10th show so i did amazing for my first show i really did but i was devastated after so in 2016 after coming out of that um, i was so deeply hurt and i kind of just let that ruin my year I had a very bad relationship with food. I would binge a lot and I had no idea where that middle ground was. I had no idea how to eat healthy. I was doing flexible dieting and I'd be fitting in a lot of artificial sweeteners, a lot of sugary foods and not really taking care of myself. And then in uh, 2017, that turned around for me and I started researching the law of attraction and how to be happy positive mindset started going to church and that for me helped me huge because i i knew that what i was doing wasn't helping me and i didn't want to regret my whole life you know have all this fear inside of me i wanted to really show the world who i was and i wanted to you know i had so many goals and dreams and i didn't want food and this you know this little small issue to affect my life so much i stopped tracking macros and i just started enjoying what I ate and tried to be as wholesome and have as many whole foods on my plate as possible. And then in 2018, I've been doing the same thing, but being a little bit more intense with my training and being a little bit more experimentative. So I've been doing a lot of research on different topics and trying to out of a training split which i had formerly known trying to do like a full body trying to experiment with different ways of training i did 16 weeks where all i did was like high intensity there's so many different ways to train after training for so long of doing like a bodybuilding split of like legs monday chest and arms tuesday back and biceps wednesday i was like hey, you know what I want to do something different. I want to try out different training styles and just have fun with it. I've been trying to focus on being as positive and happy and always inspiring myself by going out and reading and doing different things. And that for me has helped huge. But anyways, that is my transformation story of how I went from fat to skinny to fit, which is where I am now. 
I hope that I am currently taking on online clients. So if you would like to work with me in one on one, you can send me a message, either email me and I'll put the, my email in the description below or you can go onto my website, hannahmccray.com. All my programs and services are on there as well. If you want to work with me, 16 weeks is best. 12 weeks is fine, but the longer you work with a coach, the better. So I'll put that right in the description below. And programs are always a great option too. Like if you are not really at the point where you need a coach to work with one-on-one, -on -one, if you're pretty accountable and you know you can stick to something, then the 60-day uh, beginner program is amazing as well. There's actually different phases as well. So you get two different phases in the 60-day program. The first six weeks is more foundations, and uh, body weight and the second half of the six week program we're going more intense teaching you different training splits and teaching you how to actually properly work out and there's also there's over 100 pages of tips and tricks there's pictures of the workout and descriptions of them as well so you're not you'll, you have so much knowledge there to get your own transformation and fitness story anyways that's enough blabbing <laughs> i hope you guys love this video please like comment and share it to someone who needs it Bye.